Now, when you're um, buying coral for your aquarium, it's really important to have an understanding of how easy the coral are to keep. So it's really good to bring a little video of your tank running so we can see what lights are running and what's running on the aquarium. And then things like your leather corals, it's quite common for these to be closed for even up to a couple of weeks and they'll shed off this white um, 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 waxy film and that's quite normal. That's them shedding their algae and so forth. And then when they open up, they're absolutely beautiful. So there's some nice big leather corals here. Very easy coral to keep. Um, there's some zonanthus here. They'll open up beautifully. They'll spread around the place. Wonderful to keep. It's got some really beautiful corellas. Really great um, options. Then there's some lovely anemones around the place. But the only thing you need to know about anemones is anemones tend to be the best or the worst thing you ever buy. Because if you buy an anemone and it um, sits in a beautiful position and the clownfish go in it, they're just worth their weight in gold. But if they end up getting caught in your power head and shooting toxins into the tank, they're not as fun as you'd think. So just be aware whenever you're buying an anemone that it may be the best or the worst thing you ever buy. It's really important the tank has good surface agitation like this to um, make sure that you've got good gas exchange. Um, we've got a chiller, which is a must. On a hot day, it's a really good idea just to open this cupboard up, just to make sure that the chiller can breathe properly so it's not hot and stuffy in there. Most of the year it's probably okay, but um, particularly on a hot day, I like to just see this door open, otherwise you could organize some vents in the doors. Now you've got a protein skimmer down the back there. Um, it's a really good idea to clean the inside of the neck of the skimmer every couple of days, even if you just get like a little brush for doing that. And then as that fills up, you just give that a clean. The cleaner it is, the more effective it's gonna work. Um, you've got some filter socks here that you can just um, empty as they get dirty. Got a marine pure block in the back there that you just give a clean every now and then by um, immersing it in some salt water. Um, we've got some nice lights on this aquarium. We probably want to run the lights sort of 8 to 12 hours a day, more like 8 to 10. And then if you're getting more algae in the aquarium, you might consider decreasing the light. And you can um, go on the app and um, look at the recommended um, spectrums that you can set. But what we're really wanting with this tank now is to stabilize the water and start getting some nice coral and algae growth, which um, will take a period of time. And then make sure that whenever you do a water change, we want to make sure that we're using a gravel cleaner. And then the other thing that I'd really like to see in this tank, particularly um, sooner than later, considering it was just moved, is the addition of some poly filter. And the poly filter could just be added to the bottom of the um, filter baskets or anywhere in the sump there, because um, I, Definitely like to add that into the aquarium.